Go. Good afternoon. My name is Dr. Ann Reagan. I am here at the Prince Frederick campus of the College of Southern Maryland. We're going to do a short physics experiment today that you can try at home. All you need is a golf ball, a measuring tape, and a computer that has a sound card and a microphone. An object moving at uh, constant acceleration will obey this relationship, where the position at any time will be equal to the initial position plus the initial velocity times the time plus one half the acceleration times the time that it's been moving squared. We're going to do a simple experiment that will determine two things. First of all, is the acceleration due to gravity a constant? And secondly, what is the value of that acceleration? If the acceleration due to gravity is a constant, then an object that falls will obey this equation. If it starts from rest, this term will be zero. And if I time how long it takes to land on the ground, this will become zero as well. And then by measuring the initial height, and the time that it falls, I can determine the value of the acceleration. I'm going to measure how long it takes for a golf ball to fall to the ground. And to do that, I need a very accurate timing system that can measure to within about a hundredth of a second or better. To do that, I'm going to use Audacity. It's a free software product for software uh, sound engineers and mixers. You can download it free of charge from CNET.com, PCWorld.com, or several other sites. What you're going to need to do is measure how high you're dropping the ball from. The best way to do that is to take a tape measure and tape it to the wall next to where you're going to drop the golf ball. Start with zero at the very bottom. If you do this at home on any hard surface, you might have a problem with the molding, getting the tape measure straight. If you do, the easiest thing to do is open any door in your house. Door jams always go straight to the floor. You can tape your tape measure directly to the door jam. That makes sure it's straight. It will also make sure you don't peel off any paint off of the wall in your house. Once you have your tape measure set, you're going to drop the golf ball from about seven different heights, making a note of the time that, uh, of the height that you dropped it from each time. Usually having some object that sticks out can help make sure that you get the bottom of the golf ball at exactly the right mark. Uh, a ruler will work, the cover of a book will work. In any case, you're going to make sure when you have it next to your tape measure that you have an exact mark of the height from which you drop it. You're then going to go to your Audacity software and begin recording. When you hit the record button, it will begin recording the exact sound. When you let it go, you will say a key word. For instance, time. And the software will record the time hack for when you said your start word and the time hack for the sound that it made when it hit the floor. That will give you a very precise reading of the value of time. Subtract the two times to get an accurate measurement to within a few hundredths of a second of the time that it took to fall. You can then graph y0 on the y-axis, that's the height, versus 1 half t squared on the x-axis. If the acceleration was a constant, then it will form a straight line, and the slope will be the value for the acceleration. You can also do a linear regression of your data to get the best fit. You should be able to use this experiment to measure the value of g, the acceleration near the surface of the Earth, to within 2%. Thank you very much.